So I do I, like to wordsmith a bit. I do like to take words and turn them into like, I don't know. Hello and good morning everyone. Happy summer, happy day. Hope you're all having an awesome day. We are starting out today pretty great. I got to sleep in a little bit, which felt fantastic. I didn't stay up super late, but, hi Rye Guy. Oh, hi, nice makeup. Oh, thank you. You know, it's just something I threw on. I didn't stay up super late, but it's just that summer life and I didn't get up and run today, so I was able to sleep in. Hazy slept in her new room for the first time, so I wanted to go see how she's doing, seeing how she felt about sleeping. And I wonder if that like feels weird to a kid, because I know for me when I changed my room when I was a kid, it was like so exciting making up because it was an entirely new look. Hazy, how was your first night in your new room? Did you love it? Yeah. How did you sleep? Good. Did you have so much fun sleeping? Whoa, your hair looks crazy. Well, you have your baby in there. Yeah, I put her in there because she, I wanted to, her to be in here. You could rock her to sleep, huh? One of the things I love the most about your room, since we moved all your dress ups and your crib, it lets in so much light if we open up all the windows. Mm. Perfect. I love it. What was your favorite part about sleeping in your new room? My bed. Your bed, you love your bed, huh? I helped her put the pillows on. She really wanted to learn how. She came in my room and she says, Mom, nobody will help me put my pillows on my bed. It's like, well, I'll help you. I'll teach you how. So I showed her to get this look, we're gonna put your regular pillow first and then the two white pillows and then the pink pillow and then you put your little dollies. She did a really, really good job. You grabbing a book? You love your books in there, huh? I'm gonna get her dressed. It's supposed to start warming up. By the end of this week, it's supposed to be 90 degrees. Whoa, I think we're heading for hotter temps, which means we can get our little blow up pool outside and have some fun. Boys have been really great at doing their chores. Rexon just got finished sweeping all of the floors. Ryler's wiping down the counters. Crew just emptied the dishwasher. They just have staple things that they do every single day. It's really great. Usually are pretty good at doing it. Do you want to bring all of the chairs back in? Kirby, you yeah. can help him. Well, yeah. And after I get you guys settled, I've got a few errands I need to go do. I'm embarrassed to say this that now, entire week later, I am just getting to take all of our kids' suits and my dress needs to go to the dry cleaner because kids totally had too much fun in their suits and they're dirty. So I'm gonna take those to the dry cleaner. I need to go do some returns to Target from Hazy's room reveal that we did not use. So I'm gonna step out for a little bit and get some stuff done. When I come back, you guys, I'm going to figure out and take all the pictures for our new merch. We're gonna get those up on the site so that'll be available to you as this vlog is coming out. We are so excited and so ready to get this stuff into your hands. I'm actually gonna make a phone call right now to the guy that helps us with all of our stuff. <laughs> you were pushing her in on the chair. <laughs> You're silly to get these sunglasses corrected and get those coming. You guys rock. Today's been good so far. Kids are dying to get outside. Can you tell? You're doing pretty good. Put away your few things. Crew, that's your switch case. Rather put away the books out there. Why are you guys playing with your Barbie car? A few things to update you on. First of all, I don't know if mom called me out on this already, but as you guys know, we've been getting some well wishes for my appointment today, my checkup on my broken leg, getting some DMs. Well, people concerned, wanting to know how it's going. Well, guess what? The appointment was this morning at 8 a.m. I got it confused with my other appointment because I do have two appointments with two different specialists to make sure sure I'm getting the full truth on this. If you want to be thorough with it, I got the two confused. This one was at 8 o'clock this morning, which doesn't typically work because that's when I'm working on the vlog and getting it posted for you guys. So I don't know why I scheduled for 8 o'clock in the morning, but I missed it. So we rescheduled for tomorrow. Thankfully, it could fit me in tomorrow, a little bit later in the morning. So that will be coming for you tomorrow, an update on my leg. The reason I thought to talk about this is because I just can't even walk up and down the stairs, you guys. So I'm hopeful that we will get some resolution, that they will find something. They won't just say everything looks normal and as it should be because I know it doesn't feel like it has been feeling. That's the update on that. Other update is today I am going to be taking some pictures, putting this merch, rocking it right now. The hot new, this is how we bring them logo with this is how we bring them all through the logo. This t-shirt as well as the other items we talked about in our live, they will all be available by the time this vlog posts on our website. This is how we bring them.com. We're going to update quantities, inventory, take pics and list the new stuff. So when you see this video, it is available. Head on over there. This is how we bring them.com and snag some up now. I'm going to take some pictures for that here in a minute. Then also you guys, as you saw earlier, when I went around driving the Ferrari, we didn't end up buying the Ferrari, but we did buy my current dream car, the Ford F-150 that I've been driving for the last two years, but we're gonna bing him it out a little bit. Little THWB love TLC for the THWB truck. Anyway, we're picking out some new wheels, tires, getting it lifted slightly, and then we've got a fun surprise in store for you guys as well. Some of that going down today, gotta pick out those wheels and tires. A lot going down today here in the Bingham house. Hang out with us, follow along, and we'll make today epic for you. Hold up a sec, Casey girl, you are all dolled up. What is going on? Are we, do we have another prom? Prom 2.0? Prom 2.0, yes. We're doing Hazy's uh, prom Hazy's. real early. <laughs> she loves the faces, the dances, and you guys, she was in full force sassy attitude today for a fun little photo shoot mom did. I just took some pictures of her in her 
room because I plan to write up a whole blog post and everything on where everything came from. You can see a picture is also on Mindy's Best. Yes. Shameless shout out. No, no, no. It's not shameless at all. Mom's Instagram at Mindy's Best and they took a bunch of fun pictures today. Hazy got all dolled up in her brand new room so you can go check those out there. It's very Super cute. Super adorbs. Now mom, you're taking off. I see a big long list. What do you got going on today? Uh, I have to go do all of the returns to Target of the things I did not use. I have to go to Walmart and do a return. Go drop off some stuff at the dry cleaner. Alright, sounds good. So I'm going to be here man for the kids. We're going to be looking for some fun new wheels and tires for my truck. Whoa. We're probably going to take some pics of the merch if you trust me to do that and get it on I the website. I trust you. I mean, I'm wearing it. I'm in the right uniform. Yes. Probably just be hobbling up and down the stairs using the handrail. Like I know. An old person. Did you tell everyone that your appointment is tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, the one that was today that is now tomorrow? Yeah, I told them all about it. I thought you maybe would have. So you didn't sell me out. I did not sell you out. What? That's embarrassing. That's actually love because I thought you for sure would throw me under the bus for the vlog, but you didn't. So I came clean, let everybody know what happened. But that is tomorrow. Them? I said that there's a scheduling error. You put it in the calendar wrong. <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh, I did not. <laughs> no, I said. No, I just you need said to learn I got to the, use the calendar. I got the appointments mixed up. Can't get over this hot merch. I'm going to take some pics of it right now. <laughs> Brad guy down here showing us his savage editing skills. He has lately picked up editing entirely on his own. He's on iMovie down here, chopping up some Saturday, Saturday fun. I said Saturday a second ago, so he got that right. Look at this. Making his own edits, his own videos. This is incredible. So he's got his friend Suri over here. They're going to go out. They're going to tear up the town on some electrics. They got an electric scooter, and they got the one wheel. And they're going to go around oh, town yeah. right now. Now, before showing us this sick edit. And then, dude, I think you should make an edit out of your guy is right today. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. While those guys are out on their epic ride doing some electrics around the hood, these guys are setting up a snow cone station like never before seen. They got every flavor imaginable under the sun. They've got three sizes available. We got some spoons, cups. They're setting up. They're building their posters. The classic summer snow cone station here. Should be a big hit. Look at this. I love it. Great sign. Guys, you got sizes. So, oh, so you went small, medium, and large. I like that. Look at all those flavors. This is going to be a big hit. outside doing these snow cones with the kids. Look what arrived in the mail. FedEx, the paperwork for the truck, making it official, signing on the dotted and bottom line, sending it back to them. The truck will now be officially the TIWB truck. Excited to welcome that bad boy into the family officially. You guys are back from their ride. Ride guys just reviewing the footage, checking out the content. What do you got, bro? Anything good? Time lapse. Time lapse. Okay, I like that. You got a any? A bunch of B-roll. Me talking. Look you know? at you. Ooh, even some shots of the one wheel. You don't like me talking. A little you know? chitty chatty. Katie, I'm right excited to see how this edit turns out, bro. All right, guys. So me and Sarah are gonna head out right now. Uh, we're gonna go on this three mile ride. We're off. All right, let's come up this curb. We've already been on this one time. How long ago was it? Two days ago. Yeah, we went two days ago, and it was so fun. So we were like, all right, let's do it again. So this time we're gonna be a little more careful because last time it was sketchy. Had there was kind of a snake I got it okay it literally jumped it tried to jump on me and missed and almost jumped on Ryler oh my gosh she oh my literally God. said it would have gotten on her she would have kicked it onto me just made it like uh, maybe about halfway. It's only been like half mile. Yeah. Half it's only been like seven minutes. It's not been long. Last time it only took us like 13 minutes. Yeah. So it might take us like slower. I don't know. We're vlogging uh, this time. So. Yeah. I just hope we don't see any snakes. We were still yeah. shaking like five minutes. When we got back to the house, I was still shaking. All right, guys, we are almost home. Finished up coming up this hill. Now it's flat from here. We're almost in our neighborhood. All right, guys, we are just entering our neighborhood. I can see our house. Just arrived home. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video so see you guys later i'm gonna take some pics of this hot merch to get it up on the website now traditionally typically historically usually normally michelle of michelle manson photo of dan and shell takes all of her pictures for us especially of the merch so it looks professional it looks great on the website unfortunately they are traveling right now and not able to take those pictures we're gonna do our best to recreate it here at home we don't have quite the same setup with the photo paper all the right lighting and stuff but we do have this fun gigantic ring light i'm hoping maybe we'll help doing our best we just want to get it up for you guys so that you guys can get on it because we did announce it in our live on sunday we don't really have to wait too long, so we're gonna take some pics right now, get it on the website, get it available for you guys to purchase. But please forgive us if the pics are noticeably different than the professional ones from my sister Michelle.
So I have an idea here. This is very much homegrown idea. Typically, Michelle has a very nice like photo backdrop. You guys saw that in the prom video. If you haven't checked that out, we had a prom for my daughter. In the actual prom room, we had a full backdrop where you could do photo booth, photo station, and had professional grade photo paper hung there to take these great pictures. Well, we don't have that here at our house. We don't have anything even close to that. So I thought what I could do, because I am a little bit versed in the world of green screening, is maybe lay the merch on this, take a really nicely lit picture so that it's evenly greened, and then just delete and wipe out the full background, lay the pictures on the website as such. What do you think, is that gonna work? That's gonna have to do. I feel bad though because this is by far my favorite shirt we've ever made and probably has the worst, poorest quality pictures on our website. But check it out, thishelpingham.com and just trust me when I say it is amazing. It is soft, it's beautiful, fully stocked now. If history has anything to teach us, they go quickly. So check it out, you guys. <laughs> Pictures are posted, merch is available, and now live on thishelpingham.com. Go get it while you can. Again, water bottles, tumblers all restocked, lanyards in stock, the new shirts are out there, stickers. And I think we're going to order new, new sunglasses. sunglasses. Called the place, got the correct ones. The ones we, we wanted. Want. They're exactly the ones we wanted, exactly how we described them, logo on the sides, hashtag Kisha would be on the inside, is that what we're doing? Those are coming, do you have any idea how long that's gonna take? Did they tell you, like an estimate? I'm hoping like a week. A what? We'll say a couple weeks, don't hold us to that. Those will be coming soon, super so glad I figured it out. We're crushing it, I was gonna show you something mom is really crushing it at. Shut your mouth. But first, I'm gonna show you how she's crushing it in the dinner department. Corn dogs and hash brown. No, what are they called? Tots. Give me some of your tots. <gasps> Corn dogs and tots. Crushing it it's like it's summer, you guys. We're kind of just like in that summer no, vibe. No, here's the truth. I took chicken out yesterday for dinner yesterday. I didn't get to it. And then guess what? For skewers or something. Yeah. Today happened and I didn't get to dinner again. I'll tell you where mom is crushing it though. She has made up the cutest little favors, whatever you want to call them, for the neighbors who have graduated from high school. Tell me this isn't clever. She got them full oh, gigantic bags of Starburst. Yeah, let's just show them. Full ginormous bags of Starburst. Now, how would you take Starburst and turn it into a super cute and thoughtful graduate gift? Well, you would need the assistance of Brandon because I'm not clever like he is. Oh, you're gonna give me some credit on this, okay? So I do I, like to wordsmith a bit. I do like to take words and turn them into like tied in meanings. You can see I'm really good with my words. What we have here is we have a little note that we will give to each graduate with a bag of Starburst that says, we are bursting with excitement to know such a star graduate. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> we only Love have a the Binghams. few of them. We have a few yeah. graduates. We got a few graduates in the hood. You guys, how many is it total? 13? 13. 13 graduates in the neighborhood. Their senior year this year, graduating, leaving high school. Somewhat unceremoniously, but they did have a fun parade in our neighborhood where they were in the back of a truck yeah, waving, throwing candy really at us. Fun. So that was pretty cool. We just wanted to go drop these off at all the seniors, all the graduating seniors in our neighborhood. Bursting with pride that we know such star graduates. Congrats. <laughs> Something is going down tomorrow that has not happened probably in my life. At least You're in the last 20 teeth? years. <laughs> Mom's taking a shower. No, guys, here's what it is. Uh, <laughs> no, for real, leg day. Tomorrow is leg day, but not the working out kind. No, I am still not gonna work out my legs. I'm I not mean, crazy. you can't have those chicken legs and work out like that. <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm gonna make that go over and over and over. <laughs> no, but tomorrow, guys, I'm actually going to the doctor to get my leg looked at. I feel terrible about missing today's appointment. Yeah. They were really awesome to get you in the next day. They were incredible, and honestly, it just feels worse today than ever, so I just feel like I, I really need to get in. So I will give you guys an update on what's going down with that. I'm probably gonna cry myself to sleep. Oh, thank goodness you got that right in time. <laughs> I just saw her getting that. Uh, so actually, I already got a prescription from Mindy. It was suck it up. And then I think actually I got a second opinion and it was rub some dirt in it. I think I know what to do, guys. Come back tomorrow. I will give you the full rundown on what happens. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with us. And thank you for all of the overwhelming, amazing, awesome comments from Hazy's so bedroom. So much love on her bedroom, you guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you. We Looks are like we stoked about it. Next. Okay. That's all the time we have for tonight, you guys. We love, love you. you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
Something is going down tomorrow that has not Start happened. Start over, I'm taking an ugly face. So I do like to take words and turn them into like, I don't know, 